Welcome everyone! The future is here with these exciting new features. Angular keeps evolving and with the arrival of version 19, it brings a series of improvements and new features designed to simplify development and enhance the performance of your applications. We have 5 new features. Starting with a partial and incremental hydration for server-side rendering and client hydration. Another feature is a standalone components that now are a default one. Another feature is a new experimental zoneless change detection. Another feature is a linked signal for boosting reactivity for a responsive application. And the last exciting feature is a resource and Rx resource APIs for streamlining data retrieval. Let's begin the show. The first one is the partial and incremental hydration. Traditional Angular applications often suffer from a performance bottleneck when loading all JavaScript upfront. This can be significantly impact the initial load time, especially for large and performance critical applications. By strategically reducing the amount of JavaScript loaded at the start, we can drastically enhance user experience. Partial hydration builds upon the foundation of deferrable views introduced in Angular 17. Instead of rendering a simple placeholder on the server, Angular can now render the main content of a design block marked with add defer. Here is how it works. The server renders the essential content of the application along with the add defer block containing the component. When the application runs on the client, Angular downloads the necessary JavaScript for the deferred component. The deferred component only becomes interactive when it meets specific conditions, like entering the user's viewport. Let's move to the another exciting feature. Another change in Angular framework is a standalone component by default. It's not really a big enhancement, but it shows how mature and robust are standalone components without modules overhead. So now you don't have to explicitly mark component as a standalone. Let's move to the next one. Next one is a new experimental zoneless change detection. Angular has continuously refined its change detection strategy. To address the challenges associated with ZoneGS, Angular introduced an experimental feature known as hybrid change detection. This approach aims to eliminate ZoneJS entirely, using a new change detection mechanism to detect change detections and manipulate the DOM. Zoneless change detection promises substantial benefits, including improved performance, expect faster initial renders and smoother overall application performance, smaller bundle sizes, reduced overhead translate to a smaller application bundles, leading to faster download times. And the last one is the simpler debugging. Zoneless change detection simplifies the debugging process by removing the complexity associated with ZoneGS. Let's move to another exciting feature. Another exciting feature is a link signal. Link signal is a new primitive designed to enhance the reactivity of Angular applications. It provides a way to create writable signals that automatically updates their value based on the changes in the source signal. This feature simplifies data flow and promotes a more responsive user experience. Simplify reset patterns. Easily implement reset patterns without the complexity of computed signals. Enhance flexibility. Maintain the ability to set signal values explicitly while ensuring automatic updates and improved performance. Optimize under the hood for efficient updates. The last benefit is the cleaner code. More concise and readable code, especially for complex reactive scenarios. Let's move to another one. The last new features in this release is a streamlining data retrieval with experimental resource and Rx resource APIs. Managing asynchronous data retrieval can be cumbersome. Angular 19 introduces experimental APIs, resource and Rx resource designed to simplify this process. These APIs provide a unified approach for data retrieval using both promises, resource as you can see on the screen, and observables, Rx resource. So the first parameter that we are passing is a callback that is returning our request object. Another parameter is the function callback that is processing 
API request basically and we are using the fetch API. So basically resource APIs, this API offers three key properties. The first one is the value that holds the retrieval data upon successful completion. Another one is the status one that indicates the current state of the resource, like loading, success or error. And the last one provides an error handler for potential issues during data retrieval. Also, this API uh, gives you ability to reload your request by invoking the method that's making basically a new API request. So this is in short how you can use this new exciting feature. That's gonna be all for this fresh release. Stay tuned for the new exciting releases in the future and see you in the next one. Goodbye.